Detectives searching for two men believed to have been murdered by a serving police officer say they have found two bodies. Police allege that Jesse Baird and partner Luke Davis were shot over a week ago in a house in Sydney. In an update last hour, authorities said they had found remains on a remote property roughly two hours southwest of Sydney. The suspect, suspect police officer Beau Lamar Condon, was charged late last week after handing himself in, but had not been cooperating in the hunt for the bodies. A short time ago, New South Wales police gave a press briefing with this update. Um, whilst this news may bring some solace to the Baird and Davies families, I know this will be incredibly heartbreaking for them, and as the Commissioner has said, our sympathies are with them. We Sadly, as a, society, uh, as a society, have these type of incidents, domestic violence, that occur in our, in our world and we have to deal with them and, and, and it has hurt us because uh, it was one of our own officers who was involved in this. Well, let's speak now to the BBC's Simon Atkinson, who's in Sydney. Uh, welcome to you, Simon. This has been a huge story there, hasn't it? Just give us the background to this, first of all. It really has. I'm outside the house um, this evening here in Sydney, which is where it is alleged that um, the two men were, were murdered, were shot with a police issue firearm. That's what the police have said so far. And you know, the, the alleged um, killer was, as you say, a serving police officer. I mean, police have been quite clear from almost the outset that they had grave fears for, um, for the two men. Um, and so the, the news today that their bodies had been found, you know, that's brought a lot of sadness to, to the community here in Sydney. Um, it wasn't really a huge surprise. Um, you know, it, it was quite clear they felt that the men had, had been killed. And so, you know, the, the discovery of the bodies, um, you know, it sort of brings a, a mark of a, you know, uh, the next stage of the investigation, if you like. What we did learn, you, you mentioned at the, at the start of the story there that the accused hadn't been assisting the police in finding the bodies. We understand from officers that what actually triggered uh, the body being discovered today was a change of a change of position from him. We understand he took some legal advice and then gave some guidance to the officers on when they would where they would find the two men. So um, the police have acknowledged they did get that support um, from him, um, and this is how they hope to find him. After two days of searching, they they travelled about 20 minutes from the original search site and very quickly. Um, were able to locate those remains who they, they have said they are very confident um, do belong to Jesse Baird and Luke Davis. Yeah, and tell us more uh, about these men, the victims in this. Well, we know that Jesse Baird um, is a former television presenter with one of the networks here in Australia. His partner was a, a was cabin crew at Qantas, the Australian airline. And um, you know, I don't know if you can see the flowers behind me, but just having a look at some of the... Uh, the tributes that have been been written on the on the cards with those flowers, it's it's clear that you know they had lots and lots of people whose um, you know whose, whose lives they were and who they were very important. Some 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 very very sort of fond words there, but an overall sentiment. You know you know we'll we'll miss you, we'll miss you. And speaking to um, people who've come and laid flowers today, you know the the, sad, the sadness, as you can imagine, as as I as I suggested, not a huge surprise, but sadness and also. Perhaps, I've been told, a sense that at least those bodies have now been um, recovered after a week, a very, very long week for their friends and family.